hi guys welcome back to my channel it's G from happiness and crafting so today we are going to be adding into the uh, daisy journal um, so I did add a few bits in there just while I was waiting for the cheesecloth to dry so on the, yesterday's video I coloured it um, with some oxide sprays and I thought it would actually um, lighten a little bit but it hasn't on these anyway it's still quite bright um, but it looks quite nice I quite like it this is a lovely colour um, and I think they've come out nice and it's perfect colours um, to go with the journal I think they are just perfect and I think these gives it a lovely pop of colour anyway so I'm going to take as we're going to say we've got three signatures in here I haven't done any with the, the last two I'm just doing the first one um, and we've got three pages in each so it's a really small journal um, very basic journal and it's a simple one because I want you just to, to those of you who haven't attempted to do a journal yet um, this is a really really simple one so and you can incorporate this into any style that you want to you don't have to obviously use the daisy um, so this is one we did in the last video or the one before that we made the little pocket um, we pop the daisy on there and I'm going to leave that to write on we made a little um, notepad in there a belly band and then I put the Friday freebie envelope in there um, and then in this one I've just added a little pocket here it's just a little vellum pocket um, and what I'm going to do I'm just going to add some basics to the journal and then I'm going to go back and embellish them so I can add to this one add a little bit more to this one this one's got the little um, journal card in there I put the envelope on there with one of the paper clips like that so it comes on there and then I'm going to just pop I think another word on here so I'll get another one and pop it on that side and then you've got that to journal on and then I've made a pocket there which I have embellished so I'm going to make a couple of those to show you how easy it is and these can go through the whole of the journal as well so the first thing I want to do is just add another word on here so I did cut out some more of my bits and pieces on there so I thought maybe shall we have a as fresh as a daisy on there that would look quite nice wouldn't it so let's put some of our cheesecloth underneath let's have a look let's just take just little sections I'm going to take a bit of that I think I'll just have this I'm liking this one this this is a nice color it's a nice sort of yellowy color I can't remember which one which oxide spray I used for that one but I do like it so let's just make sure I'm in shot wrinkle these up a little bit shabby them up just like that so add a little bit of glue so it's the same let's take this out so we're just going to do the same sort of thing on here as we did on the other side what shall we have should we pop the green on there first and then a little bit of the yellow just a little bit of glue pop that on there just scrunch it down like that okay and then we're just going to put as fresh as a daisy there perfect don't know whether you can hear but the little girl next door has started playing the recorder again she was playing it before Christmas I think she was learning something for a Christmas show she was doing so there might be something coming up again so I can hear her playing on her recorder so there we go so we've got as fresh as a daisy perfect scrunch those up I might even add another tiddly little dirt um, journey um, what's a journey for now this one here is one that I cut off one of the belly bands I did I had a little section of belly band left over um, which had the daisies on it so I've just cut that off and I think I might just stick that on there pop that on here we have the um, that Sahara sand in the skies here at the moment I don't know whether any of you have in Europe I've got the um, the orange sky 
can't really see it because I've got bright lights, but looking out the window, it's very, very orange. It's very strange. So there we go. That's lovely. I like that. So that's in there. So that's the nice bit to, to journal on. Now on here, I've made this little pocket, which is really, really simple to make. And I've got some, um, just some coffee stain paper, which I thought I might just make. Will that piece fit? Just make a little little journaling card in this one. Where's my corner punch? I'm just going to punch the corners like that. Ink around the edges. Now you don't have to, you can use any paper, even if you've got um, just copy paper. You can do maybe a little bit of printing on it or something like that if you don't have any tea or coffee stain paper. You can use that or whatever you like, a little bit of book paper and just pop that in there. So I'm going to just, I wonder if it will go that way. I might put it in that way and then we can just open it out and journal on it. And then I'm going to put pop something on here, all my little bits on here. So let's just have another daisy. I just love these daisies. So that goes in there don't even think I need anything underneath. I think I'm just going to leave it seeing it's a little writing one. See we've got all this on here. I don't want to overdo it. We want to keep this quite sort of basic. So that can just put on there like that. Which looks nice. So that is just a little writing paper with a little daisy on it. And there we go. Perfect. So that looks good, doesn't it? So we have, I think we're missing one page. So we've got this one and we've got two. So let's put something on this one here. Let's just do that up. Now I have another pocket like this. Now I'm going to make some of these. I've shown you before in, a, in, a, in another video how to make these. I'm going to take a piece of card. And I don't really want it the same colour again. Let's get the, this one and put this one on, shall we? Let's put this to the side. Let's get our little cutter. Put that down. And we'll just take a little snip off this. Now the right is going this way, so it has to go along. I want to make a couple of smaller little pockets I think to go down so let's just cut them if I say two and a quarter like that so let's just have three pockets at oops that one what did I do it as just under it's not two and a quarter it's just under two and a half roughly there that's up there so just take this the pieces that you want the size that you want and i'm going to take my little um scoreboard i did have my little one here i'm going to pop it on there i'm just going to do just go around the edges like that two or three of the lines and then I'm going to just cut the corner like that and then we just bend them in like that so we have a little pocket really really simple so let me do the other two put this one on you don't have to be perfect you just use what you've got you don't need lots and lots of bits and pieces. Now you don't have to use a scoreboard, you can just fold them over. Okay, so if you've got another piece, let me have to take this. Let me cut another piece off and show you. Let me just quickly, where's my little cutter? There he is. Will that fit? That's not going to fit, is it? Let me take my 
bigger one. So if you don't have a scoreboard, cut yourself a little piece of paper. And then just fold this in. Okay, just fold the edges in. And this one. Like that. Fold the bottom up. Like that. So you've, it's exactly the same. And then you've got your little marks there. And you can just cut off the corners. So there you go. You don't even need a scoreboard. You just fold it up like that. So that's perfect. Exactly the same. So easy peasy. Let's pop these out of the way. And we shall finish these off. Just cut the corners. This is a good, oops, that wasn't a very good one. These are good to make from scrap pieces of paper as well. You can make lots of little pockets and decorate them for your journals. I think I did do a video. I can't really remember. Like that. So we have the four lovely pockets there now. Now what do we do with the journal? Okay, that goes like that. So we've got four pockets and what we can do what shall we put in them? Shall I put, oh, I could put the little tags, couldn't I? Let's have the tags in there. Would they fit? So if I put a pocket like that with the little tag in. Hmm, a little bit too, and that one in there. Oh, I could mix and match, couldn't I? So let's just stick them on for now. Let's put the top one on first and then just bring them down like this. That looks nice. Now we need to ink around the edge of them. So again, I'm just going to use my, this one, Distress Ink. Just do a little bit of inking around the edge. Like that. You could make a little notch out of there if you wanted to. This is just a very, very simple journal. And then once I've done it, we can just go through it. I think I will add a few embellishments onto these just to show you. And then I will do the other two um, signatures as well. Um, basically, and then embellish them. So I think that's the best way to do it this one watch we stick it on with some tacky glue now make sure I'm in shot there a little bit of tacky glue on here like that. now if you're going to overlap them you want to start with the top one like that and then that will go on top overlap and then that one can overlap like that Oops. bit of glue you don't need a lot of glue on here um, with the tacky glue because it sticks really really well okay let's stick those down then I've got lots of little tags and things to go in here we can always move them about but I do like that that looks really nice doesn't it now what I'm going to do quickly is go and do this page and then we can do a little bit of embellishing can't we so I have these are the pockets that come with the kit 
so these have got little daisies on it so what should we put that one I do like pockets pockets pocket pockets and that can just sit in there or I could have the, a big one in there just like that let me stick this on you can always move things in the, from the pockets around as we go a little bit of glue I'm going to put I think this one here just off to the side a little bit like that I think I might put a vellum pocket there shall I do that shall we just pop this one in there love that Look at that, that looks really nice, doesn't it? Now I need a little bit of vellum. Do I have any here? Let's have a look. I did have, I'm sure. Let me just get another piece. Okay, here we go. Now I do like, as you know, I do like my vellum pocket so you can see the um, tags underneath. Now we don't want the same one, do we? Let's put this one in there. So we just need a little bit of vellum. Let's give me this one here. Chop a little bit off. There we go. Let's go this way. I want to overlap that a little bit and let's just chop it. Got my little cutter here. Lots of different cutters. Let's pop that. So if I overlap it, you can still see the daisies on there as well, which is nice. And I like all this layering as well. I'm going to stick this on. Like this. on there perfect so that can go in there so that's got a nice bit to write on which I like and then say how simple that was that was really quick and simple and now what we can do we can decorate with a little bit of this um, cheesecloth so let's have a little bit of this this is a nice one just going to go for it I'm just going to stick this on like that stick that down let's have a little bit of this one shall we stick this on have a little daisy in there I think I might go around as well when I've done this I'll go around and add a little bit of stickles and maybe a few little gems in there a few little um, pearls I think I got some flat back pearls which would look nice tucked in there so that looks nice Maybe we will have. This is definitely going to be a daisy journal, isn't it? Right, let's go back to this one. I like that. And let's embellish this. Add some bits and pieces. Should we add a little bit of orange? This is sort of like a. I think they came out really nicely, actually. The colours. They blend really well with the journal, don't they? So let's just 
plastic a little bit there which we have some of this lovely vibrant yellow on here as well uncut this up again if you've got other things you want to embellish with you can um, but I don't want to make this too complicated for you I just want to show you that you can just make a journal with a few sort of bits and pieces that you have down scrunch that up a little bit down here oops dear everything go flying there stick that on and we could have one of our little words on there let's have a daisy or shall we have a little oopsie daisy if we've got one if i can find it in here we have daisy i should have really sorted them out properly shouldn't i let's have a got an oopsie daisy in a paper clip or maybe we'll just have to go for daisy we shall just go for daisy on here look at that lovely put that on there gorgeous love them So easy to use as well, and I think they just look so, so pretty. Okay, so there we go. Isn't that nice? Love it. That looks really nice, doesn't it? I might actually add something to here. Should we try and tuck something under our little, our little daisy there? Should we have a look at this so it sort of like blends in? little bit under here take this take this and just hook that under there like that love it maybe we'll have to put a little bit that side to even it out a little bit let's take another piece little bit of glue and a little of this and I'm just going to poke it underneath Oops. just like that there we go I like that now I think I need something a little bit greener on here a little bit of this I think get a little pearl and something to put on there so there we go that's done so let's add to here again let me just go through some of my bits in here I've got all these little tags I've got big oopsie daisy we've got some of these okay I have got this one here so I need to I think cut out this quickly because I didn't cut it out I use this one on there that will look nice one won't it so cutting them out is really simple you don't have to go through all the leaves just do a little wiggle like that as long as you wiggle it looks like the leaves just a little bit up and down like that and it's really simple and again around the bottom I've done like a little drop shadow there so you can almost follow that um, to go around it as well so just wibbly wobbly all the way through back to the end and there we go and then just ink it a little bit like that And there we go. Perfect. 
lovely. Shall we have some of this lovely yellow? This really does remind me of Easter, this yellowy colour. And this sort of yellow colour, I can remember my mum having a top this colour many moons ago. A little bit of glue on there. Stick that and make a little angle. And, oh gosh, I'm sticky. Me and my glue get everywhere. So let's see, let's pop that on there. See how we're doing for time. Oh, we're doing okay. We're doing good. Oops, a little bit of glue everywhere. Never mind. Love it. Love, 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 love. Okay, let's, where's my ribbon? This one I was going to, wasn't I? I was going to put on the front, but I think I might actually make, try and make a little bow to go on this pocket. I do like little bows. Make this a little bit smaller. little V in there, that to the side, and we can stick that on there. With a little bit of this, whether it's going to stick it on there quickly, I don't think so, but that's going to go on there and I love it, loving that yellow. This is obviously the middle of the one of the signatures, so that can go on there. And we can always go back and add some more bits and pieces, but I'm loving that. So let me just have a quick look. One of my drawers here, they're all muddled up where I put them. I had some little gems. I think it's this one down here. It's this little pack. I've got these on my Amazon storefront, so you can have a look. This is my little gem thing that picks them up. So let's add a few of these shall we? I'm not going to add them to that one. I'm going to add just a few, just little bits like here. I'm going to take these. Are you going to stay? Probably not. add some little gems in there. I think actually I might add it on there with some stickles. Let's take these off. I think stickles might probably hold it down a little bit better and it will give it a little bit of shine underneath as well. I can pick this one up, pop you on there. that the little one to the side of what sizes have we got here there we go look at that now once that is dry that will look really pretty and that's going to stay in place probably going to get glue everywhere and stickles everywhere I'm just going to put a little bit there. Let's get a bigger one. Camera went off then, do apologise. So I've also got some little um, pearls here as well. I haven't, I'm not going to use the sticky bits. I'm going to take them off and add a few around. I'm going to stick them on with the stickles like that. Let's see if I can pick it up with this. Just stick them around randomly like that. I think it will look 
really really lovely perfect how's that one doing that one's okay under there a little bit of stickles on the daisy just around here lovely perfect Don't they look nice a little bit of stickles on here I think I will leave that there because I can't um, do too much because, or well maybe I could do it, I could open these up, couldn't I? And do this one here, a little bit on there, a little bit on my tags, like that. Oops, let's add something to this, shall we? We add a few little, little bits and pieces on there. Let's add some of these onto there. Some love, oopsie daisy, some little gems. Oops. Let's get some little diddy ones out. Just a little sparkle in there. Oops. These, I've had these for quite a while and I you, do use them quite a lot. Let's add a couple on there. And they seem to go on forever. Now, I love that. I really, really do. So let's pop that one like that. That one like that. That one's okay. And then, I do want to add some to this one as well while we are here let's add a little bit here looks like I'm making a bit of a mess here doesn't it okay but once these are dry I think it's going to look so pretty let's add a couple of these onto here oops not the sticky bits Still got some sticky on there. There we go. Like that, and then let's get the gems back out again. Don't want them too big. Just so it gives it that lovely little bit of sparkle on top of the stickles like that. Got any more? No, oh, I think that's it. So there we go. Okay guys, so that's, I'm going to leave it there like that now. So we've got that one, I have got this and I have got this one here. So I will wait until these are all dry and then I can make the journal up I'm going to add a few bits to the blank signatures here so I will carry on and make some of those I will leave this to dry and then I will come back um, and in the next video we will work out how we are going to do a cover for it so there we go guys thank you so so much for joining me please stay safe take care and I will see you next time all right, guys. Bye-bye.